Sales.com secrets. Uh, section 1, Sales Funnel Secrets. Here's for instance, just got married earlier that year, which meant he was one of the two married guys on the Boise State wrestling team. It was spring break, and all of their friends had jumped into their cars to make a six-hour drive to Vegas to celebrate. But Nate and... And Anna's friends were stuck at home because they were... were were they married had married earlier work working hard to support their, their jobless wrestling husbands uh, Russell Brinson was now a soft so what and Brinson had been studying marketing and learning how to sell things online but at that point almost everything he tried had failed he tried selling things on eBay but he never made it enough profit to cover his shipping and listing fees. Eventually, he tried to become an affiliate selling. He tried to become an affiliate selling other people's products online. Yeah, the thing he tried seemed to work. By the third day of spring break, they can, they and Chris Brunson were bored. <laughs> they needed a project, so much thing fun to do while they were waiting for their wives to get home from jobs, and that's when they had the idea. Hey Russell, do you want to try to make a potato gun? He asked. Russ Brunson had heard of potato gun guns before, but he'd never actually seen one. He told he, he told Russ Brunson that you can make them by doing PVC pipes and to get certain. When they're dry, you jam a potato down the barrels, barrel, spray hair sp- spray into the chamber, create a little spark and shoot at them a few little hundred yards. His friends were so excited he could barely contain himself. There was, one, there was only one problem. They didn't know how to make one, so they found in some website free potato gun plants. During their research, the research they found a bunch of interesting things. They found things. They learned that you had to have the, had the correct barrel to change the volume ratio or your potatoes wouldn't shoot very far. They found out the right propellant to use, the correct pressure for the pipes, and lots of other important details. They also learned how to keep their, themselves safe, which meant kinds of pipes and propellants would, would blow up and one and which ones were in. It didn't take long before they knew a lot about potato guns. Armed with this information, they were ready to make their first gun. They went to Home Depot and bought the things they needed, including pipes, glue, and barbecue igniters. They spent the next few days making the gun, and when it was finished, they found a scheduled location and started shooting it. They had one of the best times of their lives. It was so much fun. They spent the rest of that week making more guns, trying out other plans, and even creating some signs of their own. During that week, they learned more about potato guns than 95% of the world would ever know. In fact, you might say they were became experts. The next Monday, when school started back up again, Russ Brunson remembered sitting in a in class wishing he was out shooting potato guns, and then he had a flash of inspire inspiration. Russ Brinson saw, has anyone else besides me search for information on how to make potato gun plants? Online, you can find websites that tell you how many many searches in Google are happening each month. So Russ Brinson went to one of those websites, typed in the word potato gun, and find that out and found that over 18,000 people in that month had searched for the phrase potato gun. At that time, there were no products, no paid plants, and no other experts out there teaching people about potato guns. There was a lot of free stuff, but nothing for sale. It occurred to Spencer that it, this was his chance. It was his opportunity to become an ex- expert potato guns and to sell his advice. He figured he knew about as much as any other potato gun expert out there, so all he needed to do was get a product and sell it. <laughs> he called Nate and convinced him to help Russ Renson record a demo of the, 
making potato guns. They borrowed a little video cam and drove up to Home Depot and started filming the first product. When they got there and started filming, someone asked us what they were doing. They told us they were making potato guns. And apparently Home Depot didn't want that type of ability, so they threw them out. Then they drove to another Home Depot into town. This time they went to sell them out. Which means then hid the camera under his jacket, then pulled it out and started recording what they were buying as they picked up the supplies. They returned home and filmed themselves assembling the guns. They described each step as they did, showing the secret ability, barrel to barrel. Um, chamber volume ratios they discovered and told them about their favorite propellants and instructed them how to keep them safe. Eventually, they had a video explaining the whole process. Then they turned to the homemade video into a DVD to sell online. Spencer remembers being so excited that he was going to have his own product selling online. They burned a bunch of copies of their new DVD got his website up and added and add to cart button. Connected it to a shopping cart and then went to Google to start buying some ads. At first it was an easy, almost too easy. You know, Rush Brunson told Google that any time I any time someone typed in potato gun or spud gun or potato gun plants to show in his ad and then they would charge Princeton on average about 25 cents every time someone would click on his ad. On an average day, Miss Princeton would spend about $10 in ads and from those $10, Miss Princeton would average about one sale of their DVD per day when you do the quick math. As Russ Brunson was averaging about 27 per day in profit from the little potato gun website, not too bad for a couple of pops. Just like so, basically, um, Russ Brunson sold his product um, online, and so, like, um, you can sell your products online, too. And when you sell your products online, it will spread out um, faster. Because then, um, it's, like, out for everyone. Not just only, like, um, like, for the people in your neighborhood or, like, town. And this book is made by mom. It's called Promise Prescription. You can buy it on Amazon. It's her story, your mistakes, and her lessons learned. So, yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe. Oh, and page 52, 74, see 50 of her apartment. So, yeah, like, subscribe. Bye!